Welcome to German and Venice vlog. I know I have been slacking for a while, so here's a new video for you guys. I've been filming in and around Los Angeles and today I thought I'm gonna go to San Diego. There's a USS Midway. It's an aircraft carrier, a museum. I've been there years ago and I thought you might like it to see what an aircraft carrier looks like from the inside. Nothing is really planned. Whatever happens, happens. I just wanted to get out Los Angeles and see what San Diego has to offer. Let's go. Years ago, when I was younger, I was way more spontaneous. You could wake me up in the middle of the night and say, hey, Mike, let's go to Vegas. I was in. Now I always want to plan everything, you know? But today I said, you know what? Let's go to San Diego. You gotta be spontaneous. I love that street sign. Seeing the sign Long Beach, I want to say thank you to that nice couple from Long Beach that came by last weekend and supported me. Thank you so much, guys. It feels like I'm on vacation already. We all know this from the movie, The Naked Gun. There it is, San Diego. Look how nice those palm trees look. They're different than in Los Angeles. It is always good to bring your own ride. It's a speedboat, nice colors, flagship. Next time I should rent one of those. San Diego is only two hours from Los Angeles. And this is the star of India. Look at all that cool stuff you get to see here. Wow, I really like that Russian submarine here. It's all rusted, but it's still really cool. Wow, this is so dope. It's also a museum. Another American submarine. For some reason, I always like pirate ships. See Räuber Opa Fabian war bekannt auf der ganzen Welt. Er raubte Gold vom jeden Kahn, teuer hatte Litern Geld. Arr! That's by far the best restroom I've ever seen. Man, it is beautiful down here. I should have come here more often. That was definitely not my last time here. This is the bridge that goes all the way to Del El Conado. Check out that kite right here. How awesome, huh? <laughs> when was the last time a kite made you smile? I can't believe a kite made me smile. Bonnie, what are you doing here? You want to go for a swim? Welcome to San Diego. <laughs> mm. That statue is pretty tall. This statue is modeled after this famous iconic picture where a sailor grabbed a total stranger after World War II and kissed her. The statue is called Embracing Peace and it weighs about 6,000 pounds, it's 20 feet tall. The USS Midway is surrounded by a whole bunch of different aircraft carriers and a Red Cross boat. The number one tourist trap here in San Diego. What? Henna tattoos. And here she is, the USS Midway. Once was the largest ship until 1955. Over 200,000 veterans served on this aircraft carrier. $26 to enter. But for you today, it's free because German in Venice is gonna explore whatever is gonna be on this aircraft carrier. The United States ship Midway C-41 was first launched in 1945. It was operated in Desert Storm and it was active in the Vietnam War. The CV stands for aircraft carrier and the 41 stands for the 41 ship. The eight red planes were painted outside the ship. Those are the eight planes the United States shut down in the Vietnam War. And if you don't know, now you know. Welcome aboard. You can do some really good photo shoots here if you have a model to take pictures of. Wow, this place is huge. Sure, we are looking at this right now, but at one time, 
This was actually shooting. Look how big the inside is. It's like bigger than a football field. Those two can't be missing. Kelly McGillis and Tom Cruise. Everybody wanted to be Maverick. I don't know why I like this, all this, but I do like it. Especially when you're an electronic electrician. I had to do many of those cables. All this was state of the art back then. Uh, I don't really want to fly in here. Look how they can actually put those planes. They fold them up. This is an exact replica from the family got saved that landed right here on the Midway. The original plane is in Pensacola, but that's how it was. This is a really cool story. This is the original note that he dropped out of his Cessna right on the ship. They had to remove all the helicopters because they didn't have enough space for the plane to land. So they pushed over 10 million worth of helicopters over the edge of the ship just so that the plane with the five kids and his wife can land. That's a really incredible story. Look at all that stuff going around on the ocean. And this is where he's coming in, landing on the ship, getting saved. Him, his wife, and five of his kids fleed Vietnam in a Cessna, and he didn't have enough gas to fly back, and he was afraid that he gonna capture him, so he dropped a note in his gun holster, please save us. If you guys remove the helicopter, I can land. That's when they pushed about six helicopters into the ocean. This is the crane that pulls off the machines. And look all this. You can actually walk on here. It's really weird to walk on here though. Mm -hmm. Four floors. And it's three more below that. We're here on the upper deck. Easy way airlines. It's pretty hard to imagine being out on the ocean with, on the big ship like this. There's no land to see at all. I could never sit in one of those cockpits. I'm claustrophobic. And you know how fast you go when you got all those 10 G's on your face? This is a VF-161. Tom Cruise was flying F-18 fighter jet. But it looked kind of like that. Just imagine how loud it was when all those jets were flying here. They were landing and starting right here. This is it. It is crazy to imagine that's where they started and they were landing. And this ship was at the Gulf War and it was in Vietnam War. I kind of feel like Tom Cruise or Maverick in Top Gun standing just here. Hello? Hello? This is how the helicopter looked from the inside. They fly up there. When I was 15 years old, I painted that on my school backpack much space in one of those helicopters here. Even if you're not really interested in all this stuff, it is really cool to see it and just imagine this being outside on the ocean. And this is exactly where he got saved with his five kids and his wife. What an incredible story. It was right here on the deck. And now I'm standing here and this guy is so happy that he's alive. With one of those helicopters, they evacuated more than 3,000 refugees. Those rotors are huge.
They got the Navy in here, the SEALs. We're looking at it right now, but this machine gun probably killed people in Vietnam. Unbelievable. The nozzle to refuel. Look how many rockets he has. Three in the front, three in the back, three in the front, three in the back. And this is how it worked. See, they kind of closed it, but there was a catapult right here. So they put the line, they click it in right here, and then the catapult shoots the plane all the way down that way. Seeing this little green man standing here, he was responsible to release the catapult. Whoa, it could suck me in right here. I'm sure there's plenty of birds that flew in here. Goes right straight to the engine. They call this guy the shooter. He tells him when to go. Only a handful of people experience how it is to fly in one of those jets. This is a radar plane and they call it the Hummer because he made so much noise flying. Beware of the jet blast, props and rotors. You could recognize the crew by the clothes they're wearing. Different colors mean different jobs. Captain Royce Williams. Got four planes down. Got the full kitchen here. That's where the crew was sitting. They had about 4,500 people working on this boat. Kitchen where everything got clean. Post office. We're working in here. They had a Marine standing right here in front of the door, 24 hours, to protect the nuclear weapons they had downstairs. We're looking at this table right now like it is like a prop, but this actually was used in Vietnam when they had to rescue some of those people. They were right in here probably screaming, crying. Just imagine how heavy everything is. The planes on there, the people, the metal, and it floats. I want to do a big shout out to all the military personnel for keeping us safe here in the United States. Thank you very much. Because of you guys, we can live our dream here. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your service. I might not look like him, but I feel like him. I feel like Tom Cruise. Anyway, that was it. Live here from the USS Midway right here in San Diego. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and of course, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Tschüssi.